Hello 3D printing friends. I'm going to do a walkthrough of the second half of the Spirograph project today. So last time I made the base of my Spirograph, the big outside part. So I went through all these directions and made the base and I'm going to pick up here starting with that interior part. So on my Tinkercad dashboard, I'm going to find the project. I don't want to create a new design. I want to pick up where I left off. So here's where I left off. And I'm going to click Tinker this because I want to continue working on it. Okay, and remember I've got my base and it's all aligned, it's all grouped, I've got the gear, everything looks good. So I'm going to pick up the directions over here. And remember, if you follow these directions exactly step by step, you will have a working spider graph. Okay, so first it's telling me to bring in a cylinder and change the dimensions. So X and Y axis, so remember Y is going from the top to the bottom, X is going across, Z is that third dimension coming up into the air. So I'm going to change the X and the Y dimensions each to 45 millimeters. And I want it to be 5 millimeters tall, meaning that's a pretty skinny disc. Okay. And I'm done with that for now. So I'm just going to move it over to the side. Okay, and then it's telling me to bring in another cylinder, and this one is going to remain 20 millimeters high, but I'm going to change both the X and the Y axis to 3 millimeters, so it's going to be tall and skinny. Okay, so as always, I'm just going to click on the corners to see the sizes. You can obviously drag the corners, but I prefer to type mine in. Okay. I'm going to need 16, this is going to be the holes, so 16 holes total, so I need to duplicate it 15 times. So I've got the one original, I'm going to duplicate it 15 more times. Okay, so I can use Control V on my keyboard, or I can just go up here to this duplicate button. Okay, so I have one, this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15. And the directions are telling me to move the holes so that I can see all 16 of them. The directions have it in this nice array. You can make it a nice array or you can just spread them all out. And the reason for that is so that you can keep track of how many you have used and what number you are on. So I'm just going to spread them all out and I'll know I'm finished when that last one moves as well. And again, if you have it in that nice, neat array, columns and rows, it might be a little bit easier to keep track, but that is up to you, however you want to arrange them. Okay, so that last one moves, so I know I'm done. All right, so now I want to align the gear cutout, the circular piece, and the first gear hole, the tall cylinder. So how I like to do this, because there's going to be a lot, I'm going to take one. I'm actually just going to throw it right in the middle. And then I'm going to make sure I have two shapes. So I've got the gear and the gear, the gear cut out and the first hole. And I'm going to align them. And again, I'm just going to make sure that I'm matching up these align handles based on my directions. Now, we usually group things right away, but look, there's more directions move the gear cutout and you must be in home view. So if you have zoomed in or you have done anything else, you want to make sure you click that home view button or else this next part won't work. Okay, it's telling us to move the gear cutout, the circle part, left in the negative direction four millimeters, forward in the negative y direction three millimeters, and move up in the positive z direction two millimeters. Well that might not make sense, so there's this lovely hint right underneath. It's telling me to select the gear cutout and then push the left arrow key four times. And I'm going to make sure I count as I do that. One, two, three, four. Next, it's telling me to push the down arrow three times. One, two, three. And now it's telling me to hold control and push the arrow key up two times. And if you're on a Mac, you're going to hit the command instead of control. So I'm going to push control and I'm not going to let go. And I'm going to push my arrow key up two times. One, two. Now it's showing us what it should look like. So I'm going to group it first. So I'm going to make sure I have both. I'm going to group it. So now the top looks right. And if I go to that front view, I can see that it matches that picture as well. So it's always going to have a picture of what it should look like. All right. So now I'm going to do the second hole. So same thing. I'm just going to drag it over to make sure that I'm working with the right one. 
I'm going to now grab two and I see that I have two pieces because remember this is now one piece and I'm going to align them. And again, I'm just going to always follow these directions to align where it's telling me to align. And now I'm going to click off to unselect. And it's telling me what to do again. So I'm going to select gear cutout. So I did that and I'm going to push my left arrow key seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to group them. And I can see, does mine look right? I can check with that top view. Yep, mine matches the picture, so I'm good to go. And I'm gonna continue on, and I'm gonna do the third hole. So I'm gonna grab another one of these cylinders, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna align them, and it's always gonna be middle, middle, and I'm gonna follow the directions. So I'm gonna click off to unselect. I'm gonna select gear cutout and I'm just gonna do what the directions tell me to. So I need left arrow seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I need the up arrow four times. One, two, three, four. Okay, and again, I'm just gonna do what it tells me to do. Down here, it's telling me to group them. Mine, if I wanna check on the top view, yep. So far, mine still looks like the book, so I am in good shape to move on to the fourth hole. I'm just going to move this over in my work plane a little bit. So I'm going to grab another cylinder. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to align them. I'm going to align them middle, middle. It's already aligned in the bottom. I'm going to select the gear cutout, and I'm just going to follow the direction. So left arrow five times. One, two, three, four, five. Up arrow eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'm going to group them to make sure it looks right. And I'm going to look at the top view. And yep, so far it looks pretty good. If it wasn't right, I would just undo that grouping and fix what needed to be fixed. So I'm going to regroup now. Okay, so I'm going to move down to the fifth hole. So we are a third of the way there. So there, I'm going to once again align. It's telling me to align center and center. And I'm not sure if that caught, so I wanna just double check. Yep, I'm good. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my gear cut out. It's telling me what to do. I'm in the home position. I have my gear cut out selected. I'm gonna go left one. And now we have an or. So I'm gonna show you both ways. It says select gear cutout and push arrow up 10 times. So I'm gonna do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now there's an or, not an and. So you don't wanna do both. So I'm gonna undo that. And it's telling me hold the shift button and press the up arrow one time. So not control, but shift and watch the difference. So that moved me up 10 millimeters, which is the same as one centimeter. So you can save yourself a little bit of time if you want by using shift to make it move 10 millimeters at one time. Okay, so now I'm gonna group. And I can again check the top view. Yep, mine matches that picture pretty well. Okay, now I'm also gonna move this down because moving it up has pushed it pretty close into that base. All right, sixth hole, same thing. I'm gonna put it over there. I'm gonna grab everything, I'm going to align. I'm going to make sure that I'm using the correct handles. I'm going to select just the gear cutout. I'm going to follow the directions. Left three times. Oh, right three times now. One, two, three. And here's another or. Up arrow ten times or shift and up once. So I'm going to hold shift up once. I'm going to make sure I have two shapes. I'm going to group them. And yep, I see I've got kind of this start to a spiral going. And I'm going to keep moving to the seventh hole. So I'm going to grab everything. I'm going to align it. Middle, middle, bottom's already there. Okay. I'm going to make sure I'm in my home view. I'm going to grab my gear cutout. And I'm going to follow the direction. So right arrow seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And up arrow nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to group it. If I'm unsure of myself, I can check on that top view. Yep, looks pretty good. So I'm going to move on to the eighth hole. And anytime you need to move your gear cutout, you can move your gear cutout to get some more room. 
Okay, I'm going to grab another one. I'm going to align it. Okay, and it's still middle, middle, but checking is not going to hurt anything. I'm going to grab my gear cutout, and again, I'm going to follow the directions. And I see an or again, not an and. So right arrow 10 times or shift arrow one time. So I'm just going to use my right arrow 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I have an and. So remember, this was an or, not both. Okay, and now I'm going to push my arrow key up six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now I'm going to group the gear cutout in the eighth hole. And that whole thing is now part of the gear cutout. Okay, so I'm going to move on to my ninth hole. So I'm going to grab another one. Throw it in there. Grab everything to align it. Unselect, make sure I just have that gear cut out and then follow the directions here. And there's another or, remember it's or not and. Okay, so I'm gonna move it right 12 times or shift right once, let go of shift twice. Now, I'm not sure if that works, so I'm going to undo because I just don't know if that worked right. So I'm going to realign, and I'm going to try again, because if it doesn't work, I want to make sure I'm doing it correctly. So shift, there, that time I saw it move, and then two times, one, two, and then up three, one, two, three. So if you're not sure if something happened the right way, you can always undo and go back. All right, so now I'm going to group it. And look how far I've gotten. So that goes really, really fast once you get into the habit of it. Okay, so now I'm grab another one on the tenth hole now. So I'm gonna grab it. I'm going to align it. Center, center. I'm gonna unselect to make sure I'm moving the right thing. I'm gonna select the gear cutout. And again, I've got an or, not an and. So I can push the right arrow 13 times, or I can hold shift and right arrow once. And then one, two, three. Either way for a total of 13. And then I'm going to go down one. Boom. Okay. So now I am going to group all of that because I want to make sure everything moves as one piece. And I can use that top view to check. Yep. Looks kind of like a little crooked smiley face. So I'm going to go back to my home view. Already at the 11th hole. That went so quickly. So now I'm going to grab everything. I'm going to align everything. Okay, I'm going to align to the center, to the center, move the gear cut out, and I need the right arrow 13 times again, which is also going to be shift arrow over once, one, two, three, and now down five times, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm going to group everything, and I can always double check to see if it looked correct. So now I'm going to grab the next one. I'm going to align everything. I'm going to grab just the gear cutout and just follow the directions. So again, I've got another and or don't do both. Okay, so let's see. Push the right arrow 12 times or shift arrow once and then one, two. And then down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm going to group everything. I'm going to move it over to give myself some more space. Okay, and I'm already on that 13th hole. So I'm going to move that one over. I'm going to align everything. I'm going to align it to that, align it to that. Okay, I'm going to select the gear cutout, and I'm going to push the right arrow 10 times. Or I can just do shift and right arrow once, then down 12 times, and it's giving me another or. So I can hold shift down, and then one, two. I'm going to group that. And as always, if I want to check, I can just go right to that top view, and yep, looks like it's in the right spot. So I need to go back to my home view to keep working on this. Okay, so we're already at that 14th hole. Okay, so I've got that one. I'm going to put it over here. I'm going to align them. I'm going to align it there and there. 
And let's see, we're just going to follow the directions again. So I want to make sure that I have just the gear cut out and it says right arrow eight times. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then down 15 or shift down. And then one, two, three, four, five. Either method works, whichever one you are more comfortable with. I'm going to group it. All right. 15th hole. We want to grab them. We want to align them. And hmm, I know I'm supposed to have 16, so I must have miscounted. So I'm just going to duplicate this one more time and put it out there. All right, so now we're going to double check because I don't remember if I aligned. So I'm going to align it. I'm going to select just the gear cutout. And let's see, it's telling me to use the right arrow five times. One, two, three, four, five. And now down arrow 18 times or hold shift and down once. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times. Okay, and I'm going to group it. I'm going to move it up. And I can do a top view and just check. Yep, still looks pretty good. Okay, and then that last one, I'm going to throw it over there. I'm going to align it and I'm going to do my last moving of this gear cutout. So right arrow one time, down 19. So I'm going to hold shift and down and then down nine more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm going to group it. Now I'm going to move it up here so I can have more space. All right, bring in a useful gear located in all. So remember, we're going to go to this drop down. We're going to find all. Every time they add something new, all changes. But for right now, the useful gear is on the third page. And you see it popping up right here. So I'm going to drag one over. And I'm just going to follow the directions for what to change. So the pitch, I'm going to change to 5. And it's going to make it a little bigger. The slop, we're going to change to 1 instead of 0 0.1, which is going to make them, oh, we'll see. Just changes the shape of this gear a little bit. See, it made them much, much skinnier. Okay, number of teeth right now is 20. We want to make that 19 teeth. Height was 20. We now want to make it 5, so we're going to make it much shorter. And that bore diameter is currently 6. We want to make it 0 0.01. So remember this right here is the bore diameter and we're just going to make it very tiny. There we go. It just took a second to catch up. All right. So we're going to change the gear cutout to a hole by typing H or pressing the hole button, either one. And now we're going to align this gear and the cutout. So we're going to align them. We'll align them in the center. The center is already down. Okay, and now we're going to group them. And remember, that's going to turn it all into one piece. Okay. And then it's telling us to align the base and the gear, which is really just an extra step, but we can do it anyway. So we're going to align the base and the gear. Center, center, down. And now your spirograph is ready to print and use. Thanks for watching. Bye.